Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to integrate Razer Pay Payment Gateway in Android using Kotlin. You can integrate less time and minimum level of code using this Razer Pay Payment Gateway. Also, you can manage all kind of payment method in our app. So let's start with our project. Here we need to add these dependencies in our app level griddle file. Then in our manifest file, we need to add internet permission. Then in our fragment or activity, we need to implement this one. Payment result listener. This listener will be give on payment success on payment error. So we can track this success or failure using this listener. Once you using this implement, you can get to override function in your fragment or activity. So here you can get payment success. Here you will be get payment success ID and here you will get payment failure error message. Then when I click this button, I just having a on click listener. So here is my button on click listener. When I click this button, I will be call this function. I am also passing two parameter, one for amount, another for application context. This amount with floating value. In this function, I have created object for this Razer Pay payment gateway. You need to set up a Razer Pay payment gateway and you have to get this ID from your payment gateway. Then you have to paste here. Then you need to convert your amount into 100. Then you have to convert round to in. So this will be, if you pass one means, it will be one into 100 the round of value will be 100 so it will be actually 1 rupee so every amount will be multiplied by 100 then you have to convert to int here we are just passing some name so this is my app name shopping cart and i have here some description about my project so i just passing this description content you can change payment theme color also so i just clicking this button so you can change as your project color, you can manage your project overall theme by just passing this color code. And you can also set the currency type INR. And here we are passing our amount value. Then we need to pass some additional information about who they pay the amount. For example, here is the my email and contact detail. For example, I just passing my email ID to this user has paid the amount. So also I just passing the customer contact number so I can track the payment who are done this payment like that. So here I just passing this some additional information to prefill. Then finally open the Razor payment gateway. If there is a, any issue in this try block, it will be written some catch error like this. So you can, you can track this error right here, error in your payment followed by your error message. So I just click this button. It will be written something like this UI. So here my project name and you will be get description and you can change overall theme and you can do all kind of payment like this card, UPI, net banking, wallet and pay later. Like there are more option will be updated in future too. So here is my some additional contact information which I passed you from here. Then if you select any payment gateway means like any UP means you can enable this pay now button. This is very simple to integrate. Then you can refer my website, get some idea about how to get ID from Razer Pay account. See you guys in next video.